The Pali Dali experience is all about the stories we have to share, and some of the most important ones are the stories that we share on our bodies. Te Tau in the Pacific reflects links to family, heritage, and signature stories of our experiences. One of the cool things about being a Cook Island New Zealander is to be able to come back to a place like this here in Ngātangi Ia. It was a place where the waka came back and forth to New Zealand and those kind of connections are quite important and reflective of many Cook Island New Zealanders today. One of the key things that I'm looking for in terms of my very first tatau is the symbol of the frigate bird. Um, for me, the frigate bird represents my journeys around the Pacific. So as a Pacific storyteller navigating our beautiful lands, I'm hoping that I can forever imprint that as a story on my skin. Strong design, family links, and an artist who could depict my story was a big part of choosing Clive Nicholas. His late brother Boy played a huge role in the renaissance of Te Tau here in the Cook Islands, and Clive has continued the art form ever since. In terms of Cook Island style and, and, and Polynesian, you know, that's what I do. I was born in Cook Island, but I inherit uh, Aotearoa, Tahitian and Samoa. So, uh, yeah, we're all mixed men. It wasn't just representing Cook Islands, it's everything. It, it means a lot to Cook Islanders because, you know, we're all about family. Tatao or ta tatao here in Rarotonga means to tap and the result of tapping. But Clive prefers using modern tools for his more Multinesian revitalised style. Something that is quite different to the more linear designs that you get when using the traditional tools seen around the Pacific. There are designs that we have that um, it's going to be hard doing using that tool. Some of our designs, we've got curved edges. I mean, you, you can't use something straight like that doing something like that. This art form of storytelling was almost lost post-Christianity, particularly in this part of the Pacific. Many Cook Island artists have had to research the patterns of their past in order to bring them back to life. Clive's mix of old and new is a style that also suits me in order to reflect my own contemporary story. I always advise my customers just to come prepared, prepared in terms of uh, knowing what they're going to go through and knowing what they want. It was at this point that I explained my want for the five frigate birds. And even though my feet aren't the most fabulous, they are the things that first touch the islands when I arrive. I'm watching you do that and it feels so tiny. Hmm. But, you know, I'd never imagined such detail in there. This was the last chance to have a look before this story was inked on forever. your first one? Yeah. Just uh, relax, accept the pain, accept what you're going to be going through, and you'll be sweet. Well, her, in some areas, I want your body to be sweet, to be sweet. First and foremost, it's just your, your birds is, is, is yours. For me, the five birds represent good news, peace. Um, in the front here, I added that small kōru to represent um, Aotearoa. The style I put there, it represents uh, the ocean. Over here, this, we call it the Niumongo, eh? it's shark's tooth, it symbolizes confidence uh, and strength. I'm so excited about it. It's come out a lot prettier than I thought, because often I think that Tatao has a, has a masculinity about it, but for Clive to have designed something so delicate and intricate and make my foot look pretty with a lot of meaning, it's quite awesome. Every Pali Dali princess should know the story that they want to tell, especially when it comes to Tatao. 
This is my first story on my skin. What's yours? Share it with us here at the Coconut so we can create a Tatao tapestry for Polly's Worldwide.